and you took the motor car into Caliente and played basketball or something, and then oh, what happened on the way? Something happened on the way back. Yeah, I used to. It was 20 miles from Elgin into Caliani, I, and I, this was really technically against the rules, but I'd just take my motor car and go in, and there was four or five other guys in Caliani that was on the team. And then we'd leave from there and go to Enterprise or Panac or Pioch and play a game, then I'd get on the motor car and go home. So a lot of times I was way late in the morning and on the way home. If I ever got caught, I probably got fired. But how how old would would you have been then? Well, I would have been twenty four, twenty five, uh, somewhere in that range. Yeah, yeah, twenty three to twenty five or something like. So that. was this like a just just friendly game that you'd get with? people or was it some sort of a, a organization? They, they had kind of a little thing set up and the schedule on the games and whatnot. Oh. Just other guys like myself that really was interested in still playing a little. And, and you, believe you, it or not, a little town of Caliani, there was four or five real good athletes in there. Oh. And you'd take the motor car to all these places? From Elgin to Caliani, and then we could go vehicle from there. Oh, we oh okay. I was going to say that. <laughs> you were really well connected by rail back then. <laughs> well, I was pretty well connected by rail. Or <laughs> but you didn't take the car from home to Caliani. Couldn't get. Oh, you would get well you, stuck inside. Yeah, you, well, you, a lot of times you couldn't make it from Elgin. Caliani on account of the flood, the water. Water? There's one place on the road going in where uh, any little bit of water it floods. There's, oh. That's where the bridge one goes over the road. Things. Yeah, and it would. I guess. But there, flood you, uh, at that time, that road wasn't that good, and there was all the way up and down the canyon. You could have got stuck and. And the motor car was Reliable. boom. <laughs> Candy. Uh, tell of a difficult school essay or term paper assignment. You loved English, right? That's something that I could not do. Okay. These, you've already answered these, but I'll just Whoa. read them. What happened? She was, oh. thought she was going to fall. Tell about your first smoke. Cedar bark rolled in newspaper. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Good lesson reason I don't smoke today. Yeah, that would finish me off. Too. Cedar bark in newspaper. You, you think about that for a minute. When you're just a kid like that, you're bound to try things. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's the best lesson you're ever going to get. So that done away with the smoking. Oh, man, I, I can't imagine. It was, but I, at the, you know, at the time, I didn't inhale. But, boy, just the crap you get in the mouth. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Whose idea was that? Well, it's probably mine, I don't know. We were just kids trying different things like that and would, you I've, would, we you even Ralph? tried coffee and coffee is a lot milder oh smoking coffee yeah I you know. no no smoking coffee you can roll coffee up in a paper and smoke it like any get smoke out of it like anything else I don't know of anybody else that might have tried it but we did <laughs> <laughs> did you grind it out first no well you or know just how the coffee, whole bean. No, coffee that like you get in that can. Of, oh, that's ground up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So it's just like they used to put tobacco. tobacco in and roll where we put coffee in there and tried that. 
Maybe that's why you've been so healthy. It killed why? any kind of bacteria that might have ever entered your body at all. But the thing of it is, if you make all those mistakes when you're little and get it out of your system, then I have no desire later to to get into it. Yeah, I, I, I even tried puffing on a cigar and snooze. That was the one thing that that I got deathly sick of, and that ended that. Threw up. Here, let me pause the camera for a second. I got a story. <laughs>